Hello, my name is Katie Morgan and I am the Expression Literary and Arts Magazine Literary Editor. I'm here to talk to you about Expression Magazine and how you as a student here at Casper College can contribute to it. So the first thing that I want to show you is where you can find us. So if you're on the Casper College webpage and you go to the search bar and type in Expression, we are the first option that you find. So on this page, it describes all the different things that we look for for submissions. So while you are a student at Casper College, you can submit to this magazine and have your work be dis displayed and published. What types of things that we are looking for? Anything that is a creative expression of something that you've done. It can be anything from a project that you worked in at school, something you've worked in at home. Um, it doesn't have to just be writing. It can be a form of art. It can be a form of theater, theater performance or music and music performance. It can be dance. It can be anything that you have worked on whilst as a student at Casper College. Um, to submit your things, you go through our website so we have a button down here that says submit your work to expression today it opens up in a form this form goes through the requirements of submission it lets you know all the legal things and what we're asking permission to do with um, your work once you submit and um, so read through that it is important it kind of t makes sure that everything you're doing you understand that we have rights to publish it one time and then that's it uh, select that you're a student and just keep filling out the form um, if you are doing something as a submission that is like a dance we ask that you take a video of the dance to upload to our our uh, database so that we can make sure that we have a method of seeing your dance so that we can have it properly judged later on if similarly if you're doing something like set design or you have something that is like makeup art or anything that you can't like just physically drop off in our office so that we can look at <laughs> take a picture of it submit it that way so that we know that you what you're submitting and we can have our judges later on go to the right place to view it um, same with music if you are submitting music you can submit it as you know like written sheet music you can submit it as a video or an mp3 or as a physical CD if you want to but right now we'd prefer if you can submit it, it digitally so we can have all those things together um, so you go through this form you submit your work what happens after that is it goes through a judging process we get a member of faculty at Casper College a community member and a student in each category that we have submissions in so if you are submitting art you'll be judged by art people if you are submitting literary things you'll be judged by literary people if you submit things for music, you'll be judged by music people, etc., etc. Um, so, if you pass judging, you will then be notified that you have been selected for publication. And when we do that, we make sure that we have a bio from you, so that we can add it to our our bios page in the magazine. We also do a little bit of editing on your work. Um, nothing that goes beyond like fixing comma errors or making sure like we have a picture of your artwork that isn't blurry or something like that that is pristine so that whenever it goes into the magazine for a final you know publication that everything is looking nice and neat um, what if you have any questions about if what you think you want to submit is actually something we will take you are more than welcome to email us our email address is expression at caspercollege.edu and we have people on staff that look at that email address and we'll get back to you as soon as possible to let you know if it works or not but 
really anything that you have created will be accepted as an entry into expression. So that's kind of the down low of what happens, what can be submitted, and what to do with your submissions. Submissions for the 2021 publication end at the last day of February. So that's our cutoff day for that publication to that will be put out at the end of April-ish. So um, make sure that if you are thinking about submitting to Expression that you do it as soon as you can um, so we can make sure that we get it into this issue. Things that are submitted after February um, don't get removed from our database. They just are considered for the next issue. So it'd be for 2022. Um, if you have questions, drop us an email and we'll get back to you. So I hope that this helps convince you that you must submit and um, we'll see you on the other side. Bye.